Welcome to our lecture online and here are some examples of how to actually use numbers with scientific notation. Here we're going to learn how to multiply and divide. So here's the, uh, some examples for us. And whenever you have like a multiplication of scientific uh, notation numbers, you will multiply the numbers together. And then when you multiply the exponent parts together, you use the laws of exponents or the rules of exponents. When if the bases are the same and you're multiplying, you're going to add the exponents. So this becomes uh, 3 times 5 times 10 to the 4 plus 7. Here we simply add the exponents, so this becomes 15 times 10 to the 11 power, and that's the product of those two numbers. Second example, same thing. We're going to multiply these two numbers together. 2.0 divided uh, times 1.6 is equal to 3.2 times 10 to the 6 plus 12 6 plus 12, so this becomes 3.2 times 10 to the 18 power. So the rules are fairly straightforward. Simply multiply the numbers together and then add the exponents together. When you divide, you do the same thing, but in, instead of adding the exponents together, you're going to subtract exponents in this case. So 7.5 divided by 1.5. 7.5 divided by 1.5. You take that and you multiply that times 10 to the 16 minus 8 power. So this becomes, uh, that would be 5.0 times 10 to the 8 power. Here, same example. The rule is still the same, but we have a negative number in the denominator. So this becomes 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5 times 10 to the 5 minus a minus 7. So here we're subtracting a negative number. So this becomes 1.5 times 10 to the 12th power. All right, uh, on to something a little bit more difficult. So what do we do here? Again, this becomes multiplying the 4 times 6 together and divided by when you multiply 2 times 4 together. So this becomes 24 divided by 8 times 4 is 8 times 10 and now we add exponents if they're in the numerator subtract exponents when they're in the denominator so that would be 5 plus 9 minus a minus 3 and minus 5 so this becomes 24 divided by 8 which is 3 times 10 to the and here we simply add these numbers together 5 plus 9 is 14 Minus a minus 3, that becomes plus 3, it would be plus 17. Minus 5, that would be 12, so to the 12th power. Okay, same thing over here. Even though there's a negative number here, that is not affecting the number over here, that's completely separate. So here we have 8 times 7 divided by 14 times a negative 2. And that's then multiplied times 10. Again, when the numbers are in the numerator, you add. When they're in the denominator, you subtract. That's a minus 4 plus 9 minus 8 and minus a minus 6. So this becomes, actually you can simplify things a little bit. The 7 and the 14 are both divisible by 7. And the 8 and the minus 2 are both divisible by uh, 2. So this becomes minus 1. So this becomes, and let me give myself a little bit more room since I simplified it. So it would be 4 divided by Oh, we can divide this and this, so this becomes 2 and this becomes 1. So we have 2 divided by negative 1, or negative 2, times 10 to the minus 4 plus 9. So that's actually subtracting 4 from 9, which is 5. Minus 8, that's a minus 3. And a minus times a minus is plus. Plus 6, that would be to the third power. So simply add the exponents together there. And here, just to see what we would do with something like this, Actually, you can divide this into two radicals. This can be written as the square root of the number 64 times the square root of 10 to the 6th power. Now, the square root of 64 is 8, so this can then be written as 8 times, and 10 to the 6th power, if we take the square root of that, that's like uh, dividing the 6 by 2, or taking half of the 6, so that would be times 10 to the 3rd power, because 10 to the 3rd power times 10 to the 3rd power gives us back 10 to the 6th power. And that's how you deal with radicals in this case. And so here's some examples of how to use numbers with scientific notation.